All right, so today we're going to go through a little bit of troubleshooting on the symbol handheld gun. Um, we have an issue right now where one of our facilities is having connectivity concerns. They are having intermittent issues with Telnet, which to me suggests that there's some problem with the networking between the handheld, uh, the access point, and then back to our service here in San Marcos. So what we're going to do is walk through a real quick tutorial on how to do some slight network troubleshooting and you know feel free to check this out replay it as many times as you need it's kind of a I'm going to try to bring it and make it as simple as possible but networking is kind of a more advanced strategy so feel free to ask me any questions and so here we go on the lower right when you log in you're gonna to have to get out of Telnet using the password that we give you and you'll see this regular home screen and when you do in the lower right you're going to see a symbol for the networking administration so down here if you click that you're going to see status WLAN profiles find WLANs and options we want status because what we're going to do is kind of monitor the status you see right up here it's going through and indicating signal strength of the access point that it's currently connected to so this is a kind of an overview of what's going on right now with what it's currently connected to. So this is the miss beacons, transmit retries, and the signal. So these bars are going to be also very important. So if you see a lot of miss beacons and transmit retries, if these are high, this means that they're having connection issues. If this bar that's going across dips way, way down, that means that there's a signal connection issue. Now, what you'll find is when you move from um, space to space in the warehouse, you're going to go from an access point 1 to access point 10, or in, all in between, and you're going to hop through them. The best analogy I can do, give you is think of Tarzan. So as he swings from vine to vine, from tree to tree, just the same way, you're going to be swinging from access point to access point and you're going to see which access point right here and it's not going to make much sense because this is uh, what they call hex code but this is the MAC address for the access point you're connected to so when you're going through you'll see this kind of dip down and then it'll spike up again as it connects to the next one so one thing we're going to look for is as you move around you'll set this up maybe in the office and then walk across the warehouse and you're going to want to see this dip down and then spike back up and dip down and spike back up and that means that you're having a healthy network connection you're having healthy handoffs between the different access points you never want this to go down to zero or like 10 percent you don't want it to go way way low because that would indicate that we're having a lack of connection but that will tell you where you're having a lack of connection because you'll see it real time right here so keep an eye on this MAC address, and if it changes, and again, you're not going to be able to read it real well. It's not going to make a lot of sense. But when it changes, that's going to be a good indicator that you're going to be moving between access points. So the other tabs are info, IP status, and just go over here to ping. And it's another tool that we have. All right, here's the access point. So this is uh, all the access points you have in range. So right now I'm in the office I only have one access point here on location. But what this is telling me is I'm connected to this one at 100%. If you're in a warehouse you'll probably have three or four of them connected. One at like let's say 100% or 80-90% and the other is at like 40-20-10%. What it's going to do is know that it's going to go for the connect to the one that's most powerful and then when this, this one becomes less powerful than another one it's going to hand off assuming you, you're moving and that it needs to go to the next access point. When you hit refresh, it'll go out and re-grab all the access points. So as you move through, if you want to see if something's not connecting. And unfortunately, this isn't going to tell you which access point it is. It's just going to give you the MAC address. So don't worry too much about it, but we just want to make sure as you move through and a different walkthrough. The one walkthrough, you want to go through signal. And the set, and maybe another walkthrough, go through access points. And if you find an area that's difficult, if you hit this ping one, you can actually test we hit start test, it'll kind of give you a real-time result of a network test in that specific area. But right now, for you guys, what I would really like to see um, you do if you guys are having issues is first go through the entire warehouse with this signal strength screen up and see what's available, see if anything's dropping, see if you hit a, an area where this signal goes all the way down or maybe it connects to a different access point 
but you're not having the strength back. Unfortunately, at this time, what this is going to do is just give us kind of a, a an overview between the handheld and the access point. What it isn't going to do is give us a good indicator between the access point and our servers here in San Marcos. And when we have Telnet, that's kind of the issue that I think that we're going to be experiencing the most is between the access point and our San Marcos server. As we troubleshoot, we're going to need to hit a piece and then another piece and then another piece. So we've already tested between San Marcos and the facility probably at this point. And now we're testing between the handheld and the access point, and the next is between the access point and the facility. And that's something that we can test. So we're going to break, once we identify a problem, we're going to break it up into as many pieces as we can, and then troubleshoot each individual piece to find out where the weakest link is. And then, just like on the game show, we're going to eliminate the weakest link, identify the weakest link, and we're going to fix it so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Bring your network back up. So